Hello and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther and today I'm going to be trying a new project that I haven't done before aimed at protecting my brassicas, specifically my kale plants that I'm about to transplant from the cabbage worm and cabbage moth in the garden beds. Now you can buy and make your own hoops. You can buy hooped type things to put over them. The kale plants tend to get pretty tall, especially over time. And so I was hoping to create my own kind of, and my dog is hitting the tripod, sorry. Trying to create my own kind of um, hoop system for on the cheap, you know? And I saw this video um, that if I can find it again, I'll link to, in which a man used some, um, I'll show you what he used, um, to create a hoop uh, and cover with netting. So the first thing is I have the bridle tool. You've seen me use it on my, um, to protect my seedlings and things like that. But it's just your standard tight netting. Hello. If I was a little kid, I would be playing with this so much. Complete praying bride and all that stuff. Anyway, so this is just your standard tool. I have a huge thing of it and it's doubled up. So it's twice the width of this. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be wide enough for, for my purposes. The third thing I got was this drip irrigation tubing. It doesn't have drip irrigation for it itself, but um, it's, it's meant for getting the water to your garden bed. But basically, my dog disagrees with me apparently. <laughs> but basically, this is going to be the basis for the hoops for my netting. So let's get outside and see if we can make it work. <laughs> All right, I think I figured out a solution. I had originally been planning to do this hoop across the entire bed. Um, and then I realized that the tool I bought just isn't long enough to go that entire distance. I would have had to double the width of the tool and stitch it together or use clamps to put it together. And honestly, I only need to cover this half of the bed because that's where the kale is gonna be. Um, now this isn't quite as high and the kale does, the kale does get pretty high to be honest. So this is probably only going to protect it for the first couple of months. And I will probably have to come up with some, a more permanent solution, um, over the long term. But this, um, what I did was, I'll show you, <laughs> and these are, these are the two pieces I cut off of it. See how long I made it before? Yeah, so I'll use these for something else. So I'm not worried about that. But basically sticking in the dirt does just fine. Putting stuff around it, holding it in place. And this is just that tubing. It's not super heavy. You couldn't put heavy cloth on it, but it's um, heavy enough to hold tool. And what I will need to do is put something on the ground to hold the tool in place to keep the butterflies from going in otherwise. But I think I'm gonna use the measurement I used for this tool or for this um, piping and measure out, I should probably do four, you know, one per square, one per foot um, to make sure the tool doesn't sag too much. Um, and I mean, this, this tubing, this entire thing of tubing, I think is about 50 feet only cost me like 10 bucks. So honestly, it's not that bad if some of it goes to waste. And you know me, this is gonna go to use at some point for something. So I'm not that worried if, um, you know, I don't use all of it this time or whatever. All right, so let's get to making the rest of our, uh, our cover.
Well, a little more work is needed, including um, putting a stone at the end of that part, putting, I have a pipe on this end, but I think I need something heavier. So I'm gonna need a couple more things to shore it down. But I got the stones and bricks and pieces sort of heavy wood holding down these parts. So I feel like this will do a pretty good job. I need to do a little more, like I said, before I transplant the kale, but I feel pretty confident that this will protect my kale seedlings until they get too big for this. And then I'll have to figure something else out. But, you know, one of my big goals of my top five goals for the year for uh, the garden was pest control. And this is one big part. So whenever I can work on achieving those goals, it makes me very happy. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so. And make sure you have that bell button hit so you get alerted when I post new content. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.